right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night two. Influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jail Khan, Mahaya Jinka Almeida! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight. Champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So her Dean third man Ready in fight. there for this one. Ready. Do it. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his speed, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nice shot there by the champ. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Outstanding meeting the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Lead hook is good by Lee. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He is certainly trying to wrestle offensively tonight, but that's the 10th 
We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Just out of range with that right hand. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, it's, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic oh, A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, a follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. They're all landing now. Another big one. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground. All right, setting up for a submission now. It's tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Ninety seconds to go on the round. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter... In the he's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the middle of in. Submission defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, yeah, he's got him to sit tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sun. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position it is like striking gold build your posture throw your punches big damage but then always control the far side underhook this is a great position for a top fighter all right listen you did good that round but i need you to do a little bit better if he closes the distance and grabs you i need you to avoid that takedown okay let's not worry about it. all right a lot of high level highlights from that last round dc take us through the replay if he fought like this I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And how about the submission defense on that young man in the previous round? He's so well-versed in all areas of mixed martial arts, and that was on full display as he defended a real deep submission attempt. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Doing a really good job of using that reach in there. 
This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even miss this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Gets the single leg takedown. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Attempting a choke now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Lee getting pounded, something fierce by these ground and pound hammer fists. He's got to find a way to score him out. Great job landing from the top position. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Oh, I'm no expert, but that fun flute choke looks locked in. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Triangle now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Ground and pound strike there now. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, he's got the Kamora position locked in now. Ooh, strong grip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. He passes to half guard. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Come on, bro. Keep those hands up for you. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. I need you to scramble. scramble. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Working for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants his very bad. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Final seconds here of round two. Lands with the ground and pound here. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, he got saved by the bell there. He was getting absolutely starched on the ground, grounded and pounded. Thankfully, the horn came at a good time. You see, gingerly, he gets back to his feet. He'll go back to the stool now for 60 seconds. Now the onus is on his corner to try to keep him in the fight. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could Ready secure in a fight. He Ready. did it all 
the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, shot to the body, connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Lead kick landed there by Lee. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down there. Oh, man, that was slick. Side control now. Mm, nice. Oh, right into mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Keep those hands up for me. Keep those hands high. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Oh, he's got his back. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Full mount. Three minutes to go. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Oh, now he's attacking arm triangle. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, under the chin here. Could be the end. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the opponent and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. absolutely did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean... Wow, that is great submission defense. 90 seconds to go now. Oh, right to the mouth. start to get to the get up process because everybody talks like you just get up you don't it's a process right you get to the under you build to the elbow then you start to gain height to get back to your feet lee's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now you got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later all right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Let's go ahead, hard. Lee's in half guard, continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. 
Oh. All right, that's three oh, rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested. Right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the outfit. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. So unable to connect on the uppercut. He does a phenomenal job of takedowns off of his punches. Oh, nice. Setting up a submission. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Well, he's got his back now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Ooh, looks like another submission attempt now. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like he's getting tight. He's got it locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lee. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Under three minutes to go in round four. All right, this is not where you want to be. You don't want to be on your belly with your opponent on your back flattening you out. Oh, he's got a choke. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. He's got it. He's got it. How in the world did he escape that submission? A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Lee's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Great ground and pound by this man. Two minutes now to go. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Oh, right into mount. Oh, he just continues to attack that cut around the eye. Gotta think his vision's compromised now. As he should, right? He sees the... Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Right to the neon belly. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking the Kimura. Watch for him to step over 
to try to get him up on his hip. Wow, he's out. The fight's got to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another all ground right, right. and pound strike lands. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Ready to fight. Ready. It is the fifth and final round. All right, here we go. Next round is underway, and perhaps some discouragement starts to creep in when you attempt that many submissions and don't really get close to finishing the fight. Well, he had it on multiple occasions. He felt like he had found the right spot to get the submission, but his opponent has fantastic submission defense and was able to slip right out. Back kick there. Always beat. Oh, nice ankle pick. Oh, high kick. Push kick there to the body. We got him with this hit into that kick. Man, look at the redness there almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Stiff jab. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing tight. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, come on. That's got to be it. And there it is. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes. Nine seconds of round number five. For the winner, by submission, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jail Poon, Mahaya Jinga Alameda! So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight.